Oh, well, hello there. It's me, nobody. Would you like a clever way to dupe a port crystal? You can only do it once, but it's an extra port crystal at least. Sneak your way past this big gate illegally, or even kidnap Fabio's cousin. Come here, Fabio. And take him to a sphinx with some big personalities. Hey, baby. Stop it! It's a long quest and a dangerous route to take. Filled with dragons, chimeras, monitors. It's just an all-around bad time. But you get a lot of cool items from these chests that you get from figuring out the riddles that the sphinx gives you. And she looks at you like she's gonna bite your head off, but... No, oh, my Lanta, she is my woman. I just love the way she looks at me all crazy-like. And instead of using the unmaking arrow, the arrow that kills basically anything with one shot, instead of using it on our beautiful Sphinx, we will defeat her the old-fashioned way by putting bombs on her foot and repeatedly blowing them up. If you attack her head or chest, she will fly away and never to be seen again, unless you reload the last end save. But we're gonna attack these beautiful feet so we get to keep all the items that we get from completing the riddles. I wish I didn't have to kill this beautiful lady. I wish I could romance her to make her mine. But sadly, I cannot. Please, do not waste this opportunity. Do not use the golden scarab on the wrong riddle just to get a golden scarab back. Instead, use a port crystal to get another port crystal to add to your rank. It's a very long quest filled with danger, so I suggest putting a whole day out to work on it. Because it indeed takes almost a full day. Well, if all that sounds like fun to you, well, join me, my dudes. Join me on my epic adventure to complete all the Sphinx riddles. And to get an eternal wake stone that you can use only one time. It's kind of a letdown. I'm gonna be honest here. But hey, if your whole village dies because of dragon plague, you can bring them back to life with it, right? How dare you! I don't know. We need a better dupe system. I really want 99 of these I'm making arrows. Well, that's pretty much it for the intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or don't, because you know people are going to do what they're going to do. But thank you for watching. Let's go do all of the Sphinx quest with her big personalities and try not to mess it up along the way. First, what we want to do is go to Burnworth and go to the ox cart to hopefully take us near the checkpoint town, which would be right here. Then we're going to backtrack our way over here to the ancient battleground. Here, they'll give you a vault key where you can go back to Vernworth if you want to and go to the vault and get a Medusa head. I don't know if it'll work, but we can try it on the Sphinx instead of using the unmaking arrow. Maybe it'll just turn her to stone and that will defeat her. We'll just have to try it out. We're going to do a little something sneaky. We're going to try to duplicate a pork crystal. You can get your first pork crystal by going to the forested griffin's nest and picking the one up there. It's just laying around in his nest. But be prepared to run because he's the ack. He'll most likely kill you at low level, so be warned. But that's the plan so far. The sphinx sounds like an old ant that's been smoking too much, but gosh, does she have some big egos about her. But let's go do that. Let's go to the ancient battleground and get this party started. So like I said, first thing we're gonna do, who are you? Why are you just being shady? Anyways, we'll go to the ox cart. We can go ahead and jump on and pay the little toll to go to the city. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. After you paid your coin, you can just doze off. And hopefully you won't be attacked when you get there. And if you are attacked, hopefully it's near the middle of where you need to be. And we made it. Nope, no issues. So we're going to get our aces up, and we're going to head the opposite direction. We are going to take this path right here, and go up to the ancient battleground. Before we go, we kind of want to stop here and go into the rift and hire us a pawn. We want to find Sphinx's parent. 
If you're having trouble getting Sphinx Parent to show up, go to Options and go to the Network and temporarily turn the Network features off. After you do this, go back to the Riftstone of Fellowship, close by the Checkpoint Rest Town, and when you go in, Sphinx Parent should be the only one that shows up. Right. Depending on what level you are, you might have to pay a little bit extra RC to get them. Hire them and replace for whatever pawn you want to. After that, you can make your way to the Ancient Battleground. Once you make it here, you'll see a dragon down there, usually fighting a ogre or a cyclops or something. Just ignore them and climb up. You want to make your way up into this little place. There will be skeletons you can fight, or you can just run past them. Either way, it's up to you. But there's a lot of enemies up here you just have to explore a little bit and try not to get murdered. Down here is another ladder you can climb down. Me, I would just run past everything. The They're quite late. annoying, unless you just want the fight. Once you make it here to where the sleeping Cyclops is, he will wake up, but there's a ladder right there we need to climb, and there should be a chest behind him. We're gonna go ahead and get that chest, if my pawns will get out the way. And we're gonna climb up the ladder here. You can kill the Cyclops if you want. My archer has explosive bolts, which I like to use to plant explosives right on their head. And he's dead. That's a bad cyclops. Bad, bad cyclops. Now that we're up the ladder and defeated the cyclops, or ran away from it, whatever you want to do, there will be a cave here that we're going to go into. This cave is pretty straightforward. There's a campsite right here if you need a rest. And when you get to this point, there will be a rock you need to dispose of. I have the archer, so I use explosive bolts to kind of knock it out of its place. After that, you just progress through the tunnel until you get to the end. When we get to the exit, there will be a couple golems right here you can choose to fight or not. It's up to you, really. I'll fight them later. Right now, we're just oh, going to keep running this way. We have a rest before pressing on? And as you can see... There's the Sphinx right there. When you see that Sphinx image, you know we're getting close. When we get to the end, we're gonna hang a right. Jump up here. And we're gonna go up this little staircase here. This is where we want to be. After we reach the top, we're gonna meet the Sphinx. Now, it's very important here, you want to get your port crystal and give it to your main character. We're gonna go up, we're gonna talk to the lady. Adventurer come to take my life. As you can see, she has some big personalities. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. See, it sounds like you need to stop smoking there, lady. Your resolve is commendable. We're gonna do the riddle of conviction. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter so grant to me what you most prize. And we're gonna give her your the port crystal. Lies. And it will double our port crystals. So this is your prized possession. A most revealing choice. Wasn't that creepy? Well, well. Very good. That's the spirit. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Well, thanks, lady, with your big personalities. And as you can see, we got two port crystals now. A lot of people say to use the golden beetle. I say do not waste this opportunity. Use it on something re really valuable, like a port crystal, or anything you want that you might want doubled. Come on now. Play the game, don't let the game play you. Our next riddle about the eyes, it's really simple. Our eyes are our allies, yet oft do they 
they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do need astray. If you want you to go into this little cave here, there'll be a couple of goblins. We'll dispatch those really quick like. I should very much like to rejoin you. Sup, you little goblins? Are you in need of healing? You must focus on finding victory. Whatever. After you dispatch those goblins, just turn around. And there'd be a chest up here. Get that ceiling file out. And just return. That's what she wants. I would save it. Just in case you need it later. So make sure you don't use it right away. Venture through yonder door. Deliver that ceiling file. She'll look at you like that again. This is your choice. Looks like if you get it wrong, she's supposed to bite your head off. I kind of like it. Look at me like that again, baby. Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. Thanks, lady. Awake stone, nice. Hey, you guys, I got a wake stone. Is it is it cool? I can come back to life. Well, only one time. But it's still pretty cool. Alright, what you got for me next, lady? With your big personalities. Riddle of Madness. Love is as twin to madness. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the... And the one I love most is my main pawn. Where you at, Rachel? Come here, Rachel. I'm sorry, lady. I gotta show you off to my... To my sphinx. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? It sure is. Well, well. Very good. Not half bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yet only one you bring? I thought you capable of more. Really? Capable of more? A promise made. A promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. I ain't no hoe, okay, Miss Finks lady. I don't need more. Ooh, another port crystal. I need to give this to somebody. I'm too heavy. Alright, Rachel. You go back to the start. We don't need you no more. Right there is where you need. Alright, come here. We're going to do you next. This is where we need the Sphinx parent for. The Riddle of Wisdom. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. This is where she wants you to bring this guy over. Or whoever you get as the Sphinx parent. Plop them down. Yeah, come on, look at me like that again. Get out the way! You claim this to be the parent I seek? Yeah. I can't see her look at me weirdly. Indeed, you are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Well, thank you. So that's one, two, three, four chests we done unlocked. You want to keep count of your riddles. Just so you know. She's facing a fly off. So we're going to try to grab a hold of her before she flies off. And finding her will be her sixth riddle. So when she asks us how many riddles we've done, we will answer six. So we'll get to that in a moment though. For the last riddle here, the riddle of rumination. It's ever the first we keep fond in our breast. And ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the Seeker's tokens, I trust. Those yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. I hope you remember where you found your first Seeker's token. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? My first one, I believe... I'm gonna use the Fairy Stone. And I'm gonna go to Ventworth, because I believe that's where I found my first Seeker's token. There it is. And you get a Finder's token instead of a Seeker's token. 
use a fairy stone to return to the mountain shrine. That's where we need. And we're going to leave this here because as soon as we get done completing her riddle, she's going to fly off. So we're going to try to grab a hold of her before she flies off to lead us to her new location so we won't have to run all that way. We're going to leave this crystal here so we can come back and get the final chest with our three fairy stones in it. And now that we're ready, we're going to go ahead and finish the little riddle up. Get as close as we can to her big personalities. Yeah, that's right. Look at me. Well sought and well found. Look at me all crazy like. That's how I like it, baby. Alright, we're gonna try to grab a hold of her. As promised, you Before she flies off. Five riddles have I posed. And five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more. But I'm afraid that's that. No constant this world may seem. In truth, all is in flux. And so, the time has come for me to fly. If you are not for now, I bid you fail. Alright, come on. Grab a hold. Grab a hold of the big personalities. A strange sort that ventures Climb on to her back. And she should just, you know fly straight at least 95% of the time so we can regain our stamina by letting go. Oh, you can use items to regain your stamina so you really don't have to let go as long as you have those items. Thanks for the ride, lady. You sound tired. Without grabbing a hold of her like this, it's a whole big hassle to get back to her, so... This is the easiest route. Thunderclap Cave. That sounds like a bad STD. Hope I don't get the Thunderclap. So, when you enter the Thunderclap Canyon, that's when you really want to hold on. Well, so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. And this is basically the sixth riddle. We're going to go ahead and plop down a port crystal because we're going to need to return here every so often. This first riddle is pretty easy. We did five riddles so far and finding her is basically another riddle within itself. This is a battle of wits. Tests of metal are more to your strength. Come, try your arm. However, I am not one to be amused by so bear this ring into battle. I might gauge your true strength. What? So I guess she gave us a different riddle, apparently. She wants us to fight this guy, but that's fine. We're gonna light him up real quick. Knock him down. Shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck. Do enough damage to him to knock him down. Run over to him before he gets up. Go ahead, pick his ass up. And throw him off this cliff. Good to see you, Master. Good show. It seems your mind is as strong as your arm. You have more than earned your reward. Another chest is yours to claim. So that's seven. I thought she was going to give us the riddle where she would ask how many riddles we've done so far, but apparently she didn't. So we got to keep up with that just in case she asks that next. The Ring of Ambition, a ring bearing a mysterious power that invigorates the spirit. Boost experience gained from defeating foes. We're going to go ahead and equip that and unequip this one, the, the one that she just put on us that makes us weaker. So now she asked it. Okay, so that would be seven. Seven of these little things we need to pick up. So for this one, after I bring her seven little statues, now we can talk to her again. This is your answer. Are you sure of your count? 
And the correct one, no less. I see you're keeping track. Yes, ma'am, with your big personalities. Of course, your erudition shan't go unrewarded. This is the one you open for finding her for the second time. A lot of gold, apparently. And this is the one you open for getting the number right. The unmaking arrow. Which we are probably going to have to use to kill her, but I'm going to try the decayed Medusa head to see if that works. Hopefully it does. If not, well, you know, we'll see. So, since she seems to be doing stuff out of order, let's see what she gives us next. How easily the mind unravels. Some say it's pain that does it best. Others, darkness. But I say neither. Rather, I say a mind cannot be more soundly broken than when it beholds its earnest efforts made low in a single stroke. Could you survive such despair? We shall see. Here, I have an amphora destined for Sir Moritz in Batal. Deliver it to him, but beware. It's rather fragile. I do hope your struggle will amuse. Yeah, she's doing it out of order. So she wants you to deliver this little thing to whoever. But Missy, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna go to the guy we need to deliver this to. Pick his ass up. And use a fairy stone to bring him to it. Because you only got one that I know of. And if you break it, the quest has failed. Look how she's looking at me. Yeah. So full of hate, love, and rage. Oh my Lanta, you are my woman. Now there's no easy way to do this. We're gonna have to travel all the way down here until we can get to this guy. About right here in the map, you'll run across a dragon. I would uh, advise not fighting him at this level. Then again, you might win and, you know, contract that dragon age and give a whole town dragon plague. I would advise against it though. Until you get this quest done at least. Yeah, this place is just a whole lo lot of trouble. I would suggest staying away. I want to save Mia, but oh god. Apparently we can't get away from whatever that is. Everybody's dying apparently. I'll pick up Rachel later. This place is just crazy dangerous. This route is just filled with peril. Dragons, all kinds of nasty enemies. I barely made it here, so be sure to have a lot of curative items and run, run, run. Now, after you made it to Batal and may or may not have spent all your Sphinx money on new armor and gear, I think I look quite dashing with a new bow and everything. But we're gonna go talk to this guy. You seem like a learned individual. Surely you have an interest in the mighty Just run up to him, grab his little ass up, and we're gonna go over this way so we can use a fairy stone to travel back to the Sphinx. Hopefully you're buying fairy stones along the way, or you've collected enough. Use this to go back to the Frontier Shrine. He'll struggle and you'll have to drop him every once in a while, but we're going to set him beside this pot and we're going to finish the little riddle here. What in the world were you thinking, bringing me to such a hold a moment? That vase. Now we're going to go back and talk to the Sphinx and her big personality once again. Well, well. Very good. Let me just say... Carrying that vase by hand, it's an impossible task. So this is the best way to do it. Eternal Bond. Grants the wearer a more companionable air. When offered as a gift, it deepens the bond between giver and receiver. So vast is this world, and full of life. You are but one of many, indeed. In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. If men are so distinct, I'm sure you'll find him in a trice. Gorgeous. He's a Fabio. So what we need to do now is go past the 
checkpoint rest town into this little area right here where the Fabio guy is going to be. Now the easiest way to get here, unless you want to take this route all the way around, which I do not want to do, instead I'm just going to travel back to Ventworth. So now we're going to take this ox cart and we're going to go to the checkpoint town. We're going to go rest at the inn. Rest until morning. We're going to go down here and we're going to rest on the bench. We're going to doze off once. And now it should be the afternoon and our cart should be here. Should be coming this way somewhere. There it is. Now, all we gotta do is jump in here. There we go. Now, all we gotta do is just stay here until it passes through. Once you get to this point after the gate, they're gonna attack you for some reason. I don't know why. Even if you make it all the way over there, they're still gonna attack you. The best thing to do is engage and then run back. So go ahead, get out, say hello, they're going to be mad, and then you're going to run over here, tell your pawns Freshly to get their asses well. over this here, go side. ahead and murder that guy. Is he, is he good? Alright, I think he's good. He said, he said he has enough. No Alright, let's go see if we can sleep at the inn. Go ahead, rest at the inn. If anything, if you do the... Sphinx quest wrong or she flies away you can re just reload from this uh, end save to do it all over again all you gotta do is go find Fabio which he is right here after you find Fabio pick his ass up use a fairy stone and go to the frontier shrine that way you won't have to ride that ox cart four or five times just to do this quest is it indeed but all these differences so great is this the man I saw Truly, yes this is Fabio you are satisfied with your answer then I shall weigh its merit yep it's Fabio come on now to pluck a human from the yet pluck you have and for the and with that, again, I shall now take my leave of you. That was certainly worthwhile. <sighs> well, you are a persistent one. Did my prizes fail to satisfy? Surely your greed is boundless. Pursuit, though, it is a pity. It will bring me no pleasure to spill your blood. This should be interesting. Well done. <laughs> we did it. We did it, chaps. That will do. Most impressive, I must say. I almost hope that you and I shall meet again. It has been long indeed since I was last so entertained. Wait, did she say we're gonna meet again, or she hoped that we would meet again? That was certainly worthwhile. A job well done. It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. Now that we defeated her, open the last chest to get the eternal wake stone. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know that the Eternal Wake Stone is a one-time use and it's most likely used for the Dragon Plague. If your pawns could track Dragon Plague and you sleep at a town, it could kill the whole town and this is what it's used for, I believe. Maybe there's something else on down, down the line, I don't know, but I'd hang on to it.
Come to think of it, different masters favor different. This forms. chess is the whimsical daydream nicer, for the trickster class. After you're ready to leave, don't forget to pick up your port crystal. And remember to use a fairy stone to go back to the mountain shrine. To get your final in. chest with the three fairy stones. And then depending on where you're going to go from here, you pick this port crystal up. So now with all that being done, you have kept your arrow of unmaking that you can use at a later time. You have one That's extra port of... crystal. And you have the Eternal Wake Stone that you can use one time. So don't waste it. I was going to use the Decayed Medusa Head, but it's pretty much useless right now. And might is a force to be That's what it does. It just completely turns to dust because it's too decayed. There is a way you can get a fresh Medusa Head, and if you wanted to, you could try that out on the Sphinx. But just attacking her on her legs will work just fine. If this guide has helped you, please leave a big like and subscribe to the channel for more. But thank you for watching. Until next time, my dudes, have fun. Did you enjoy this video? Consider subscribing to the main channel at Mr. Nobody Elden Souls where it's more focused on invading. Or the second channel at Nobody Elden Things where its focus is on helping and will be the main hub for invading for dummies. Subscribe to both and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, my tarnished, and we will see you next time. Like and subscribe or I'll death blight you in your sleep. This message has been approved by the mayor of Froggy Town. <laughs>